Hi, I'm Jake, and today we're gonna to turn this Harbor Freight pressure paint tank into a pressure pot for resin casting. Here we go. I've been making things for a while, woodworking, CNC, uh, all that kind of stuff, and I've known that the resin world has been out there and, I, and I've been looking at it, but I really never got interested in taking the first step until watching Heath Knuckles videos. Uh, me and my granddaughter like watching them together. She likes the dinosaur eggs, so I'll put a video, a link to that video up there. And uh, now we'll move on. Several people have done this. Zach Higgins, uh, Chad from Minecrafting. There, there's a ton of them out there, and I'll put a link to at least those two in the description below on how to do it. If you're anything like me, you'll watch and watch and watch until you get a good uh, confidence about what you're doing. So here's another one you can watch and we'll make it work. And then we're gonna see what the difference is between uh, a casting with the pressure pot and a casting without it. So let's unbox this thing and I'm gonna show you what the, uh, the parts that you're gonna need and tools and then we'll move on. So here's all the stuff we need for this build. That's a quarter inch by quarter inch female elbow. And we have some Teflon tape a crescent wrench that's just a quarter inch cap that's it a cap you need some way to put it to the air hose you have a 3 8 to quarter inch adapter and I'll, I'll show you the right one in a second and a quarter inch ball valve and I, I left them out at this time because these three things over here I got at Harbor Freight and uh, these two things over here I got at Lowe's so just to show you that you can get it in town I know some people like to Get it off Amazon and I'll have links below to get that stuff. Now I'll take these out of the packages so you can see exactly what we need. So there's our ball valve. It's quarter inch and it has male threads on one side and female on the other. And here's that adapter from 3 8 to quarter inch. Just has the 3 8 on the outside and quarter inch on the inside. There's your part that goes to your air hose. It's also quarter inch. This is just a quarter inch cap. And here's a quarter inch elbow. So there's everything you need. Let's get this thing unboxed and see what we got. So here's what we get. We get the paint pot. You get the regulator, little handle to carry it with, a nut to, to tighten that down with. And then you get the lid and here's the line that the paint would come out of and then there's where your air regulator would go in here's pop-off valve and we're gonna change all this basically all we want to do is plug this thing's nose so nothing can get out until we tell it to get out and the first thing we need to do is take off this pipe right here and i'll explain that in a second i have a vice right here so maybe this will help take it off easier that wasn't as bad as I thought. And now we're gonna take off this one that usually goes to the paint. See it says paint outlet right there. We're gonna take that off and I'm expecting this to be difficult. And this adapter right here that has the 3 8 outer threads and the quarter inch inner threads this is going to go that thing we just took out we're going to replace it with this but first we're going to put teflon tape anything that has male threads we're going to put teflon tape around i'm just going to thread it in there When you take this one out, there's a bunch of crusty stuff on there. It didn't That brass fitting didn't want to go off in there. So I got a 3 8 inch pipe tap and that's what I'm doing now. So hopefully after that, the other one will go right in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pop-off valve and I'm going to put it in that fitting that we just put in there. 
So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to retape it and put it in there. Here we go. Next thing is we're going to take this T fitting out and we're going to put our regulator in. We're going to we're going to put some Teflon on that fitting right there. So normally how this would work, an air hose would come in here and then an air hose would go out here to the paint gun and then you have your siphon tube underneath here that's sucking paint out and that's going also to the paint gun. So we plug that hole and we're going to have air coming in and we're going to cap that right there. So I'm going to put those two fittings on. We put the coupler to our air hose right here and we're going to put our cap right here. And of course we're going to put Teflon tape around all the male threads. So I put Teflon on all the male threads and I forgot about this elbow right here. We're going to put the elbow on here and your ball valve is going to go into your elbow and then your air connection is going to go after that. That's where you're going to plug your air in. Nothing left but to try it, I guess. So I had to mess with the pop-off valve a little bit. It does have an adjustment on it. You just spin it downwards to make it, to make it hold more pressure. It was coming off real easy. I think they do that on purpose just to make you have to mess with it. But it's at 50 pounds right now. This is set, it's a max capacity is 60 pounds. So I put it at 50, it should be safe and it's holding it right now. So what you should do right now is if yours is leaking, get some simple green or just some water and look for bubbles and then go around and re redo your connections if they're leaking. Next thing we're going to do is get some blanks and I'm going to pour some aluminum light in them. I'm going to put one in here and I'm going to have one without pressure and we're going to see what the difference is. Well, I got these molds and I'm about to mix up some aluminum light and put one in the pressure pot and have one just sitting out and I'll have a heat gun to pop the bubbles to make it as fair as possible and we'll see what the difference is. But first, we'll take a closer look at the pot and at how it's concave at the bottom of what we gotta do to fix it. Here's the inside of the pressure pot and as you can see, it's way deeper in the center than it is over here. I say way deeper, probably an inch or so. But if you go to sit your blank in there, so if you fill that all the way up and then you can't get it straight, it's gonna spill out, this not be very good. So what I did, when I first got my CNC machine, I made this thing just playing around. And as you can see, I took a bandsaw and cut out a circle. And I sanded them down a little bit to make it thinner because I want to save as much capacity in there as I can. And we get them. And now it's flat. Now it's time to weigh out the resin and come over here and mix it up and, and let's do this experiment. I make a little bit extra so I can play around with it too.
So that's that 50 pounds. We're going to let it sit there. I'm going to play around with this little extra stuff, try to put some little swirls in there and something like that, see what happens. Now I have the heat gun plugged in over here and I'm going to apply some heat to this stuff and pop the bubbles and see what we get. I'll keep doing this with the heat gun and keep an eye on this stuff and then when I demold it, I'll, we'll come back and take a look at that and then we'll be able to see what the difference is between pressure pot and no pressure pot. The directions for the Lumilite say to demold it uh, two to four hours. It's been about two and a half hours and I'm excited to do it so I'm not gonna wait any longer. I'll get the camera set up so you can see me demold these better. Remember this one on the right side of the table is gonna be the one that didn't get the pressure pot and the one on the left side is gonna be the one that did get the pressure pot. So let me set up the camera. Here's the one with, without the pressure pot action. Let me get it to focus. And here's with the pressure pot. I'm hoping you can see the difference side by side. You can see through the top one way easier than the bottom one. The bottom one's not bad, but it's bad compared to this. So, come on. <laughs> Here's that little experimental thing I did. Hmm, that turned out pretty cool. So there you have it. We just changed our Harbor Freight paint pot into a pressure pot for casting and I hope that I showed you good enough pictures side by side of why you need it because in person it's very apparent that the one without the pressure pot one looks like a Jolly Rancher but it looks like a Jolly Rancher full of air I mean it's very apparent that that didn't get pressurized and this one doesn't have one air bubble in it so there's going to be a lot of uh, projects coming up and I'm going to figure out how to get the CNC vault involved in this and uh, of course the lathe and uh, you can blame Heath on this again. Um, I'm going to remember that I'm going to put in the description below links to uh, Mancrafting and NV Woodworks videos on how to do this. And uh, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe, comment, share and all that stuff and uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all be good. Ooh, look at that.